Hi everyone, good morning, and welcome to the 2020 Heart and Stroke Walk. My name is Jen Carter, and I am your MC. I'm the co-host of the XLO Morning Show, and my job today is to get you out and walking wherever you might be. Now, thank you for your continued support of the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association. We are in really unique times, and thank you for being with us here today, even though we can't be together physically. We're grateful that you have stayed with the Heart Association and continue to further the American Heart Association's mission. So thank you. Today is indeed a celebration. So why are we all here? COVID-19 has changed the way we're living our lives and the American Heart Association has invested $2.5 million in a rapid response fund to address the needs of how this virus affects heart and stroke patients. We have seen the social determinants of health are affecting the socioeconomics of the death rates in this country. The American Heart Association is constantly working with all levels of government for equity and health care and works locally with coalition nonprofits to address such issues as food access, hypertension control, and cholesterol monitoring. Now, at the American Heart Association, the mission really is simple to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. At the Heart Walk, we bring that mission to life by getting out here and walking today and getting active and pledging to stay active for good. And that's why it's so important today as ever, even though, like I mentioned, we can't be together physically. Now follow the day's events on the Facebook event page. You can share your pictures and videos and make sure you make them public so everyone can enjoy them. And you can also use the hashtag LifeIsYMA. That's hashtag LifeIsYMA. Now, before we get started with our program, I wanted to take a moment to say a big heartfelt thank you to all of our local healthcare providers who are working tirelessly to help keep us safe. We see you. All right, now it is my pleasure to introduce the chair of this year's Heart and Stroke Walk, Jay Sear. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jay Sear. I'm the Senior Vice President for Surgical and Procedural Services at UMass Memorial Medical Center in Worcester. And I'm also the chair of the 2020 Central Mass Heart and Stroke Walk. I am absolutely thrilled that you have joined us this morning. Although we can't physically be together today, I'm looking forward to seeing the many ways our community stays active and supports the American Heart Association. While I know this is not the way we had planned on celebrating the Heart and Stroke Walk this year, we will not be deterred from our mission to be a relentless force for longer and healthier lives. Interestingly, we may consider ourselves a little lucky. Had we held the walk on the originally planned date of May 9th, we would have been walking in the freezing cold again and with the added touch of snow flurries. I think today's weather will be an improvement. All the funds raised today support education that helps to keep our communities healthier, as well as supporting critical research efforts to help us better understand the heart and brain implications of COVID-19 on heart and stroke patients. More specifically on the fundraising activity, I have an exciting announcement. UMass Memorial Medical Center has agreed to provide a two for one match for the first $5,000 raised today. So if you raise 100 today, with this generous match from UMass Memorial Medical Center, your donation will turn into $300. So please let everyone on your team and all your friends and family know so they can take advantage of this great opportunity. I plan to get out and walk in my neighborhood today, and you'll see my photos on social media. I hope that you get out and walk as well and share your photos by following hashtag LifeIsYMA. Enjoy your walk today and thanks for being here. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Rachel Henry. Rachel is a teacher here in Worcester and a longtime volunteer for the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association. 
I was 30 years old teaching first grade, and I was having these headaches that would crack your head in half. But no one thought, not the nurse at school or my primary care doctor thought it could possibly be a stroke. It was 16 years ago before fast. And one day I went to my doctor for a regular appointment. Nurse checked me in. Next thing I know, I'm slipping down the side of the wall. I got incredibly hot. I instantly lost 100% of my swallow. And my doctor, who I'd had since I was 12, came in the room and knew exactly what was going on. And they put me in an ambulance. And that was the beginning of my journey. I went up to the ICU. Um, which was terrifying. And I had a suction machine so that I could um, not asphyxiate and die. And they had me in ICU for a day or two. I went home and got my treatment um, outpatient. I went there during the days and, um, and got my soil back eventually. Stroke is different. Stroke is weird. Uh, symptoms pop up at different times when you're um, different lengths of time out from your stroke. So immediately I lost the swallow and that was the primary concern. I had full use of all my limbs. I had spastic muscles in my face, but they didn't develop until six months to a year after my stroke. So right away, the primary thing was get her eating. I could walk and talk, totally retraining your brain and retraining all the parts of your body to function like normal. And that's everyday practice. You know, every minute that you're having a stroke, 1.9 million brain cells die. And so I got care right away and I must have an awful lot of brain cells but your body can go through some absolutely horrendous things and I am so blessed that not to have those. I have things I live with now. I have no pain sensation or heat or cold sensation on the entire right side of my body. So I had to relearn, you know, grabbing for hot things, getting in the shower. There are tons of things that you don't see a stroke survivor has to live with that are right there under the tip of the iceberg. After my stroke, I was able to go back to work full time. And my doctor said, you know, you can take care of other people's kids. I'm not sure about you having kids. And so I eventually met this wonderful man and I told him I wasn't gonna have kids. And then a month later, um, I was pregnant with our son, Jason, who's 10 years old now. You cannot do this alone. I'm telling you, you can't. It's just too much and you don't have to. So we can prevent them, we treatments are better. I'm living proof that it's beatable, but you wanna make sure that everything in your life, everything in my life is built on stroke prevention, treatment, advocacy. It's just a no brainer, it really is. Wow, thanks for sharing your story, Rachel. And thanks for all that you do to support the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association as well. We really want this to be a fun and interactive morning. As you can see, I'm changed and ready to get out there walking. So please join the conversation on our social media. Post a picture of your team and share your reason for walking with us here today using the hashtag LifeIsYMA. Okay, now let's take a moment to thank all of our local sponsors, UMass Memorial Medical Center, St. Vincent Hospital, Vibra Hospital of Western Massachusetts, Central Campus and the Meadows, Commerce Bank, a division of Berkshire Bank, Reliant Medical Group, the Hermitage Center, and our media sponsor, My Station 1045 XLO. We wanna also thank all of our fundraising teams and walkers this year. The top teams and walkers have led the way this year and we wanna recognize them this morning. We've posted those top teams and walkers on the Facebook event page this morning. So take a look when you get a chance and make sure you congratulate them on that post. At this time, I'm very honored to recognize a special volunteer here today with the 2020 Heart Hero Award. Nancy Hagberg, a pediatric cardiology nurse practitioner with Mass General Hospital for Children in Worcester is this year's recipient. 
Regarded as a caring and compassionate clinician, Nancy specializes in the management of pediatric risk factors for heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral vascular disease, such as hypertension, high cholesterol, and weight control issues. Nancy is also a past chair and a longtime active member of the association's Central Mass Board of Directors. She has supported local, regional, and national initiatives through active participation as a nurse, advocate, and educator. Congratulations, Nancy. It takes a lot of time and dedication to make an event like this possible. And in fact, we've already started planning for next year's event. It is my pleasure to announce the 2021 Heart and Stroke Walk Chair, who is with us here today, Chris Costa, Senior Vice President, Commerce Team Leader at Commerce Bank, a division of Berkshire Bank. Thanks, Chris, and we're looking forward to next year's event. We have another special recognition to share. We think it's appropriate that we honor and recognize the exceptional acts and service by a Central Mass Region EMS provider, both on and off duty. During this unusual time, it's fitting to celebrate the best of the EMS providers in our community. Michael Hunter, Deputy Chief for Worcester's EMS at UMass Memorial Medical Center's University Campus in Worcester, is receiving the 2020 EMS Provider of the Year Award. Michael has been a valuable partner with the Association on Hands-Only CPR and AED Awareness. He has worked tirelessly and selflessly to improve regional cardiac arrest care, especially within the city of Worcester, where he started an AED registry so that 911 operators know where the nearest AED is located to help callers for cardiac arrest save lives in our region. Congratulations, Michael. It's time to officially kick off the 2020 Central Mass Heart and Stroke Walk. Thank you so much for participating in this virtual event and supporting the American Heart Association. Remember, post your pictures and vi videos and fundraising totals. Show us how you walk today. Stay strong, get out there walking, and let's cross the finish line together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2,